Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt. Last time we played Research or Rescue, this time we're going to be playing the Kuva Mach. The Kuva Mag? The Kuva Mag? I don't... I'm not sure which is the correct pronunciation of this. Uh, if anybody has seen... I, I'll probably just watch this Voyager episode on Netflix later on and find out what the real pron pronunciation is, because this is going to be popping up... I'm not going to say often, but it's going to be significant later on. A representative from the Klingon Empire has agreed to meet with Miral Paris on Regulus IV. Lieutenant Paris is believed by some Klingons to be the Kuva Mach, a savior figure. That may or may not be the case, but if it means that the Klingons are willing to talk peace with Starfleet, we'll take the opportunity to do so. We we'll need you to oversee security for the meeting. There are people on both sides of this conflict who would prefer that war continue, and we cannot allow them to disrupt the meeting. Go to Regulus 4 and make sure that the location is safe. And we will get a regenerative or a covariant shield array with a regeneration thing on it, which is oh so sweet if you're coming through here for the first time. I am not, so I will probably be selling it, but I'll probably be getting it anyways for old time's sake. Now, there is a sub-objective on this map, and we're going to be going over that uh, when we get there. Why have I come out here? Okay, Pran is still being Pran over there. They're the bridge model and the counselor's chair is still glitching, although that's the doctor and not the counselor. Uh, Nell is sitting in her chair, though, and Pran is not, which is good. Chal is... Challing. And, uh, yeah. Can I leave the ship interior from just sitting in my chair? No, of course I can't. That would make sense. I think at some point you could, maybe? Love the new beam. Like, like the new uh, transporter effect. Really do. It's, it's way better. There aren't nearly as... Like, there are... The other one was good. Like, having seen, like, the... Uh, this one looks a bit more like Elite Force, though. And Elite Force had some pretty uh, decent transporter effects. So. Okay, so I'm currently in Beta Ursae, and I need to get to... Well, first I should make it... I'll turn that in later. This is an experiment for that I'm doing for someone. I'm going to have to do that later. The Kuba Mach. Okay, my primary... So, where am I going? Regular system of the Cella sector of the regular sector block. Well, let's take a big old shortcut and go to K7. I know, it's not exactly a shortcut. It's kind of a long cut, really. Or maybe it's a shortcut. It will be a shortcut with the assimilated sub-transwarp engines. Yes, I am. kind of goofy that the ship model is still there uh, when the warp flash is for that done. Beta Eridani. Yeah, it's going to spawn me. Normally, I'm a little bit pissed off that it keeps spawning me in this direction when I don't want to be facing this direction most of the time, but uh, this time it's a, a little beneficial. Ooh, I should do Alhina again later today. All right. Stock up on my deuterium surplus, which does not stack above five, which is maddening. Let's go ahead and equip that. Make this trip a little bit shorter. Let's go ahead and slipstream it all the way. At least to the to the sector division. There's Alhina, which is where you get the deuterium surplus. <sighs> loading, loading, loading. So where is the regular system? There it is. 
And it's not all the way across the sector block. A rare occasion when this is so. Or when this is not so. So, as you uh, as you saw in the previous video I uploaded on, uh, was it Wednesday? Was it Wednesday? No, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. Uh, I uploaded a video on Thursday that is essentially me running around the environs, the environs is, is of uh, Starfleet Academy, which is a new social zone they've added, which will eventually be the new site of the tutorial. I think I mentioned that all the way back in the uh, first installment of Rise of the Red Shirt, that uh, the current Federation tutorial was going to be no more. So, uh, a little a little taste of what that zone is all about. There was no commentary, no commentary, it was just me running around. A Federation system with more than 7 billion inhabitants spread across three M-class worlds. A Vulcan protectorate system for more than three centuries, the, regula the Regulans positioned for independence in the early 23rd century. The Federation Embassy on Regulus IV is one of the largest in the sector, which of course would probably make it a meaty target for the Klingons since they're pretty close. Um, let's see. The Arcanus arm is right there and the Klingons invoked uh, ancestral blood conquest things there. It's, uh, yeah, Klingons, man. Klingons. And then the regular system. We're going in. Captain, sensors indicate several groups of Orion Syndicate ships patrolling near the communication satellite ahead of us. The Orions are using the satellite to boost their communications jammers. All subspace communications with the planet's surface are being blocked. Well, we can't have that. I have made the decision to divert energy to engines rather than weapons. I will still have plenty of energy for weapons, but I will not be killing everything immediately. No, fuck it. You're dead. Told you. Target shield has failed. Ah, he popped before my torpedo reached him. So yeah, I made the decision to even the odds and then went mad with power. So who's shooting at me? Oh, a brigand. I almost wish Deuterium Surplus would drop, but then um, there'd be no reason to do Alhina because it's not rewarding at all. The only reason to do the Alhina system... It's the only reason to do anything, really. This, the, the daily missions in Ada Eridani really... You know, for the, for the very paltry amount of em emblems you get, especially for... Uh, for salvage rights or salvage dispute uh, especially for that one because for the amount of work that you have to do to g even get that mission the reward is quite paltry quite so so really if they made the deuterium surplus a drop there'd be no reason to do that mission at all There'd be no reason to even look at it, unless you were just bored, I guess. I guess that's why they haven't done it. Oh, well. Target 
things will not be so easy once we get to the Romulan. Well, they'll be kind of easy. They'll be kind of easy, but not as easy. Captain, I've made contact with Lieutenant Miral Paris on the surface. She's our Starfleet liaison for the peace conference. Yeah. One moment. Sensors are reporting transporter activity, and I'm picking up weapons fire. Captain, Lieutenant Paris reports that several groups of Klingons and Orions have hi attacked the embassy grounds. She needs assistance, sir. I almost said hijack, but it's all the same thing, isn't it? Beam down. Okay, take the hazard team. There's a, sh there's a starship team, and that team's led by now, which is kind of backwards, since the first officer is supposed to be the one on the, on the ground, and the captain's supposed to be on the, well, the one staying on the ship, isn't it? But, uh... There's a, there's a shipboard, in case you haven't noti started noticing by this point, there's a shipboard team and there's a ground team. And I, my ground team is the hazard team, that's what it's called. And if you don't know why I call it the hazard team, go play Elite Force. No, seriously, stop watching this video and go play Elite Force right now. Do it. Do 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 do. Hello, Moral Paris. You don't look like Roxanne Big Do Biggs Dawson at all. You don't even look like Robert... Well, maybe a little a little bit like Robert Duncan McNeil. I'm ready to assist you, Vice Admiral. What is a Kuva Ma? There is an ancient Klingon religious text that says the Kuva Ma, or Savior, will lead the Klingon Empire back to glory. There are a lot of prophecies about the Kuva Ma. Some say the Klingons will know him or her before the Kuva Ma knows the world and that the Kuva Mach is stronger than sickness. Before I was born, Voyager encountered a group of Klingon pilgrims looking for the Kuva Mach. They were dying, and a doctor used my genetic material to create a cure for them. To some Klingons, that proves I'm the savior they seek. Do you want to lead the Klingon Empire to glory? Officer? All I want to be is a good Starfleet officer. For every Klingon who wants to worship me, there's another who wants to kill me. It makes it hard to live to have anything resembling a normal life. I'm part Klingon, and I've never hidden that. But I'm part human, too. All I've ever wanted is for the species I come from to be in harmony. If I could find some way to reconcile the Klingons and the Federation, then I'll believe that the stories might be true. Until then, it's a case of mistaken identity. Is it true you're from the Delta Quadrant? Not exactly. My parents, Tom Paris and Polana Torres, were on the USS Voyager, which was lost in the Delta Quadrant for seven years. During its journey home, they married. I was born as Voyager reached Earth. I consider myself a child of the Alpha and the Delta Quadrants. Why were you assigned to the Peace Conference? Ambassador Koss of the Klingon Empire requested my presence at the Peace Conference. Stuffley thought that it would be a good idea, so I was temporarily reassigned to Regulus IV. I'm no diplomat, Vice Admiral. Normally, I'm the Chief of Security on the USS Kirk. I'd rather be back on my ship, but if my being here helps the Federation and the Klingons find a peaceful re resolution to their problems, I'm happy to help. What is the situation, Lieutenant? Vice Admiral, you're here just in time. A group of Klingon operatives is attempting to sabotage the Peace Conference. They're planting explosive charges throughout the grounds, and they have Orion Syndicate forces as backup. My people here are outnumbered and outgunned. We can't free the diplomatic team from the embassy until the grounds are secure. Stopping the Klingons and deactivating those explosives are our top priorities. Alright, and now we have a sixth ranger, which is Moral Paris, who is one of the many, 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 many Starfleet brats from the USS Voyager, who is just sort of here, really. I was using I was using that when I was playing with somebody who was way low below level and I didn't want to be immediately immediately killing everything. Uh, I'll go with the pulse wave. I, I like the, I like the way the uh, Polaron pulse wave looks. Of course, I'm going with the pulse wave. Both of them are. So here's the sub objective on this map. There are a bunch of injured colonists for you to resuscitate, and getting all of them nets you an accolade. I will be attempting to find them all. So there's that. Stay tuned. It's going to be exciting. Maybe. Not really. Nice vista! It's a, it's a vista of a vista of a flat landscape with water on it. And here's a bunch of dudes. As it 
Targ Handler. He's going to die soon. He's dead. What did I tell you? And here's a subspace charge. You're going to be seeing a lot of these things throughout the game. You're going to be disarming them and planting them. Because, damn it, they're everywhere. And here are some Starfleet officers in need of assistance, so I'm going to assist them. Okay, they've been assisted. And here is yet another colonist who needs to be resuscitated. So we're going to do that. Because, god damn it, that's what Captain Picard would do. Alright. So that's two. I'm believe there are seven? Bad shit's happening over here. So, there is another subspace charge around here somewhere. Oh god, they all bit the dust and Gimli's the only one who's left. Whoa! Bastards. That should be your final evidence. That should be all you need to see. Gimli is better than what's-his-face. I don't know, the guy who played the guy in Pirates of the Caribbean. Fuck him, I don't remember his name. I should, it's kind of sad, because I love the Lord of the Rings movies, but... Kind of sad that I can't remember his, his name. The name of the... Not the name of the actor, the name of the character. Again, refusing to fire. So yeah, I'm still dealing with a fair bit of input lag. And it, it's manageable. It's purely through the UE. If I hit the number key, it'll do it right off the bat. Hey, Moral, your security teams are fighting somebody right over here. You want to give them a hand? Voyager brat. Damn it. Oh, here's Gimli helping out uh, another group of Starfleet officers. Good job, Gimli. I almost was thinking Elrond, but that's Hugo Weaving's character, isn't it? Legolas! That's his fucking name. Jesus Christ. Why couldn't I remember that? I feel like I need to turn it... I feel like... I feel like my... My geek cred is gone now, for some reason. Like, God damn it, you don't remember the name of the characters from Lord of the Rings? Jesus Christ! Turn it turn in your plastic com badge and your toy phaser. <laughs> I'm benching you. You're on suspension. <laughs> 